Yo out there guys, this is Dale of Lone Wombat Airsoft and today we're doing an update video about the last year, how the channel performed and where I see things going in the future. Now first and foremost we picked up almost 330 new subscribers this year, so if you're new to the channel then welcome aboard. And to everybody else, thanks for sticking around. Now what I'm really after for this video, as well as having quite an open and frank conversation with you guys about where I see things going and potentially discussing what worked and what didn't in this last year, I really need your feedback on the things I'm going to be talking about. Uh, obviously the whole purpose of this channel is to keep you guys entertained in an airsofty sort of way and the best way to do that is if I know what you guys want to see and what you watch. Um, feel free to go all out on the criticism by the way, it's the only way I'm ever going to improve my content if I hear the things that you think I need to hear. So with that out of the way we'll dive straight on into it. So I made about 28 videos in the last year which is just over one every fortnight. Now I know full well the release schedule that I had was nowhere near as cut and dry in that. Um, although I have been trying recently to release all my videos on a Monday, uh, the amount of Mondays that I can hit consistently does tend to vary quite wildly. I am aware of this. Um, I've wanted to get a consistent release schedule going for a couple of years now. In fact, in the last update video, which was at the start of 2015, I stated that that was one of the things I wanted to do. However, there's been a number of things that have got in the way of this, such as other commitments, holidays, cameras playing up on the day, me just not having a good day at the time and just deciding that, hang on a minute, all this footage I've recorded is actually kind of boring. I don't want to make a video out of this because no one's going to enjoy it. If I find the video boring, what are you guys going to think about it? Uh, however, the main thing that's been getting in the way of that is, in hindsight, something I should have seen coming a mile away, and that's that I can't, I can't simply afford to go airsofting every weekend. As much as I'd love to, I can't. Uh, I've got things like uh, a mortgage I'm saving up for, a new car, all the boring lifey stuff that tends to get in the way of airsofting but unfortunately does need to take priority. Now I am going to try and get as many airsoft videos out as I can in the next year, obviously I'm going to be going as much as I can. I will always try to aim to have a video ready and released by Monday at 4pm, expect one every fortnight or so but I can't promise that I can hit that uh, schedule consistently because I don't know what's coming up in the year and I can't go consistently enough to have like a backlog of videos set up that I can keep releasing. So whilst I'm going to try to hit Mondays at 4pm, expect the release schedule to be a little bit all over the place unfortunately. So we're going to take a look at some of the videos that did really quite well this year, surprisingly well in some cases, and try to pick apart why that was. Um, examples of this would be the Takao Spartan games, the Stormforce Airsoft 1, the ATU All Gate 3 review, the Armageddon games, Ground Zero NAE, and of course the Airsoft Cheats compilation at the end of the year. Now, with the Takao Spartan game, um, I think the main reason this one proved quite well is because it's an airsoft community that I've not been exposed to at that point. I had very little to do with those guys beforehand. And Takao Spartan's a very well-established and well-known CQB site. Um, I also think that the hit take incident that I showed on it might have bumped the views on that one a little bit. So, a couple of reasons why I think that might have been. Um, similar sort of situation with the Stormforce Airsoft. Again, big airsoft community that I've not been exposed to up until this point. So, it should hopefully draw a lot of new people into the channel. Um, the site in general though did play really well into my particular style of airsofting so I personally felt that I was doing really well on that day so hopefully that translated into a more interesting video to watch again correct me if I'm wrong on that one um, the Armageddon games should speak for themselves really they've got armoured vehicles in them it's a simple explanation I'll admit but um, I personally love it when, an airsoft, uh, when a vehicle gets involved in an airsoft game and I'd imagine that people searching for airsoft videos would think the same thing uh, next one, the Orge 3 review. Now, this one's a bit of a head scratcher for me because I can't really figure out why the Orge 3 review did so much better than the WSMG 8 one. Now, is it just a case that ASG is a more search for brand? Is that a gun that people are more interested in? I don't really know, to be honest. Um, usually, my review videos do well in general. Um, I like to think that uh, my style of reviewing, the fact that I leave it for a couple of months, wait to see if it breaks and then um, actually review the gun after using it for a significant amount of time and the fact that I'm not trying to sell you the gun so um, I think that all adds into it but why the org did so much better than the SMG8 I don't know, and I might have a bit of a loss of this one to be honest so I could really use your opinions on that down below if you've got any um, next obviously the Grand Zero videos now these consistently do well for me Grand Zero is a very high profile um, event with thousands of players turning up every year so of course it's going to do well if there's a player base that large um, also what I try and do is I try and make sure that I'm the absolute first person to release a video from GZ that year so hopefully people go to that one first they see that that one has more views they therefore go to it more that sort of thing I um, had a bit of an issue with it this year though, um, the video I made this year was not the one I wanted to, I had to change the backing track, uh, some of you might have noticed that I uploaded one beforehand and then had to take it down, um, 
just because the song that I used in the background, it meant that it was blocked on mobile devices and in Germany for some reason. Um, so obviously I had to take that down, re-upload it with a different song, and that's irritating to me personally because it's, it's not the video I wanted to make, although it turned out alright, I think. Um, still a bit annoying to me. Uh, well, lesson learned, I suppose. Now, last one, obviously the Airsoft Cheats video. Obviously, this one was going to do well with a title like that. I'd tried to make it extremely searchable for that. I was expecting it to do well. Um, however, what, what threw me for a bit of a loop, even though it's the most popular video that I've done this year, is the amount of dislikes on it. Now, is this just the case that um, it's not the kind of video people want to see? Um, I'd argue against that because of the raw views, but the dislikes speak for themselves, so there's something wrong here. Um, is it just a case that it drawed in a lot of new people to the channel that are expecting something of higher quality? Like, I noticed there was one comment calling out on the fact that I used tape to hold the BB shield on my camera in place, so maybe I need to get a more elegant setup for my filming. Could be a thing that I could do. Uh, maybe it's just the case that people saw the shots I was taking and thought it was a not, not a non-hit take when I thought it was. So, a couple of reasons for that one, but still, I'd like to definitely hear your guys' opinion on that, as it's something that I'd like to fix. I don't particularly like it when people dislike my videos, because it obviously means that some of them are not enjoying it. So, there's a potential room for improvement there that I'd like to fix. So, from the videos that were popular to the ones that were not. Uh, a couple of examples of these would be the MCG games throughout the year, the WESMG8 review, and the Airsoft uh, Headshots compilation at the end of the year. Uh, now, with the MCG games, I'm assuming this is more to do with the fact that a MCG is my local site. I keep going back to there all the time. And it could just be that people are getting tired of seeing the same site, maybe. Um, I tend to think that uh, a lot of my views come from the people that were there on the day and like um, wanted to see what happened from my perspective sort of thing. But um, it could just be that I've been going there so much that people are getting tired of it. So perhaps I need to get some more diverse sites in and try even harder to seek new ones out sort of thing. So something to consider for the future perhaps. Uh, the SMG8 review, again, as I said with the Orgate 3 review, I have no idea why this one didn't do nearly as well. I mean, it performed badly even compared to my normal videos. So um, why that one did so badly, I'm not sure. Because I talked the gun to shreds in that video. There's a lot of flaws with it. And I like to think that my style of reviewing, the fact that I can go all out on the criticism of the gun because I'm not trying to sell it to you guys, it, yeah, I just, I just don't know. I'm at a loss, honestly. So any kind of a comment or opinion from you guys on that, much appreciated. Uh, finally, we've got the headshots compilation. Now, again, I was trying to aim for the same sort of crowd as the non-hit takes video. I was trying to pull the same people in. Um, I was saving the clips up throughout the year and I thought it turned out really quite well, to be honest. Um, so why it did so poorly is such a head scratcher for me. Um, could be that because it was released mid-December, people are thinking more about the holidays than airsoft, and so there were less people on YouTube in general, maybe. Um, it could just be, again, that people think it's unsporting for headshots, and if you've got the full view of the person and you can go for a body shot quite easily, I tend to do that. Um, but if you just focus purely on the headshots, it is quite an unsporting thing, so I could understand it if that was the case. Um, it's what I need to figure out though, because although the like to dislike was less than um, on the non-hit takes one, the ratio was more. So, um, yeah, I, I need your opinion on this, guys, because, uh, again, I, I don't know. So, if, with any of these, if you've got any thoughts or opinions, just please leave them below so I can actually have a read of them and try and improve the stuff I make. So, what have I got planned for the future of the channel, then? Uh, well, obviously, I've got a couple of gun reviews in the works. I've got the ASG Bren and the CZP09 in front of me that need doing at some point. Uh, I wanted to get the WEXDM handgun review done last year. Um, I tried two or three times to get a shooting test done with that gun, and it broke consistently on all of them. Uh, the last test I took with the gun, the gun actually forgot that it's supposed to be a gas blowback. So, that's coming to get repaired at the moment, and I'm sure you can imagine when that review comes out, it is not going to be favourable. Um, there's still plenty of Midland sites that I've not been to that I need to go and see this year, so I'll be doing a couple of new site reviews and going to new and interesting sites, so you can expect a couple of those in the future. Uh, I will be returning to Armageddon at some point, as well as the Midlands Airsoft Fair. Um, I am in the market for a new sniper as well, actually. Uh, my JG's getting on quite a bit, and although it works still really well, I'm fancying something new and interesting, so... Considering either an Amoeba Striker or the new TM M48 3 when that gets released, depending on how much it costs, um, the only way I can actually afford new guns is if I sell my existing ones. And obviously Facebook did something last year where 
it's flagging up any kind of gun sales and obviously because it can't tell the difference between a gun and an airsoft gun they get roped into that into well so it's become, so it's become a lot harder to sell airsoft kit in the last year uh, so i need to get that out of the way and then i can focus on getting new guns once it's done uh, also on the subject of buying new things i need to replace my gopro at some point um, i'm sure some of you might have noticed there's like a smudge about here on the footage and um, that's where the lens got scratched somehow a while back and uh, that's been annoying me for a while so I imagine it's been irritating you guys as well so I don't think I'm going to go for a Hero 5 or a Session um, after my Contour got wrecked at the jail I have zero faith in integrated cases on cameras when it comes to airsofting I want one with a separate case entirely so it's easy and cheaper to replace so I'll be looking for a decent Hero 4 um, hopefully since the 5's been out for a while now that would have driven the price of a 4 down so Hopefully, I can get that done this year, but no promises on that one because, again, it's a lot of money that I don't have. Um, obviously, if things are on track with the amount of subscribers we're getting, I'm hoping to break a 1,000 subscribers this year. Now, I need to get something planned for that. Um, I'm hoping something quite daft that I've not really done before. So, um, just something completely out of the ordinary for that sort of thing. So, I need to have a think on that. Like, uh, I'll puzzle some ideas together and see what I can come up with. And I do believe that covers just about everything. So if you've got any questions on things that I've not answered in this video or you've got opinions on some of the things I've been talking about, please leave them in the comment section down below. And until next time, hopefully, we will get some new decent videos in the new year. And this has been Dale of Lone Wombat Airsoft. Headshot. He's gone. <laughs> Beware of the ones on the left of the vehicle behind the barrels. Got him. Headshot. Sit down. <laughs>